Scorpion News is a public forum for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions do not necessarily represent those of the HUSD. Welcome back, Scorpions, to another episode of Hespera Broadcasting. I'm Vanessa, here to welcome you to this week's broadcast. Last Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a national holiday celebrating the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whose influence is still impactful today with civil rights. To honor the legacy Dr. King left behind, we decided to put together a segment to look back at the life and influence of Dr. King. Let's take a look. From an early life, Martin Luther King Jr. was an outspoken advocate for civil rights and racial equality. King became a member of, it, of the Executive Committee of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in 1954. During that time, he was ready to accept a leadership role for the first great African-American nonviolent demonstration of contemporary times in the U.S., the bus boycott. As a result, on December 21, 1956, the Supreme Court declared the laws requiring segregation on buses unconstitutional. While fighting for civil rights, King was arrested 29 times, his home was bombed, and he was subjected to personal abuse. Despite the harsh treatment he and many of his fellow protesters received, he rose as an African-American leader of the first rank, and the work continued. Later on, in 1957, he was elected president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, an organization formed to provide leadership for the civil rights movement, which was influenced by the ideals from the late Gandhi. In the 11-year period between 1957 and 1968, King traveled over 6 million miles and spoke over 2,500 times, appearing wherever there was injustice, protest, and action. The letter from a Birmingham jail further ignited the civil rights movement where he sought to bring national attention to issues over voter oppression and segregation. His most famous feat was the Peaceful March on Washington, D.C. on August 28, 1963. King delivered his I Have a Dream speech to 2,500,000 people gathered at the Lincoln Memorial. Here he called for civil and economic rights and an end to racism in the United States. At the age of 35, Martin Luther King Jr. received the Nobel Peace Prize. Today he leaves behind a legacy of hopes and dreams that we must choose each and every day to work towards. We must continue to serve our local communities. We must continue to fight for an equitable world for the betterment of all people. Thank you so much to Freddie and Elizabeth for producing that segment. Now on to our announcements. We would like to introduce our first ever Hesperia High School retro themed virtual talent show. Try saying that five times fast. You probably could, I couldn't. Anyways, students get to participate and show off their hidden skills. Let's take a look at the sneak peek. I'm telling you, everything I did there was 100% real. 
Anyway, if you would like to participate in the virtual talent show, submit your audition to this email. The deadline is January 30th. Scorpions, we would also like to remind you of social distancing and safety standards during this pandemic. San Bernardino has confirmed 2,564,914 cases as of recently. Fortunately, the COVID-19 vaccine is well underway with 38,770 vaccinated already. In the meantime, we would like to remind you to keep washing your hands, wearing a mask when going outside, and staying six feet apart from others to help control the spread of coronavirus. If you or any family members have shown any evidence of these symptoms, we would advise you to stay home as well. With COVID-19 eliminating the activities we could do, coming up with other activities has become very difficult. With this in mind, some of our broadcast members have come up with a segment dedicated to the iMessage gifts to pass the time. Let's take a look. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's rise and shine. We had a lot of fun making that segment and we hope you enjoyed. COVID-19 has certainly made fun a little harder to accomplish these days. Some of us need to get into the right headspace with everything going on. Our own issues could be affecting our everyday lives with no escape in sight. This could be very tough and dreadful. With this in mind, one of our broadcast members created a special segment dedicated to that. Let's take a look. I don't usually express my imagination to its fullest degree. When I do, all of it is in the mind. It serves as my escape from this world. Here's how it works. First, think about a place in your imagination. Ignore the space around you and fully immerse yourself into that place. The rules of imagination is there are no rules. You have full freedom in your imagination. Nothing to bother you, nothing to hold you down. You are free. Free to do whatever you desire without anything holding you back. You see, every day we continue the cycle. We get out of bed, we get ready, and we get our plans for the day over with. Sometimes it's stressful, I get it. Sometimes problems come by and mess up the day. Sometimes what you do every day is work and you just want liberation from it. Sometimes you just want to escape. With this in mind, think about where you want to escape and fully capture that in your imagination. Maybe you might find something meaningful or something to seek in life. Or even something you want to live up to, to see, or something you want to have. Maybe start there to pursue something meaningful for your soul. This is my message to you. Thank you, Freddie, for that segment. That was very inspirational and insightful. That is all for this week's broadcast episode. Thank you all for tuning in. As always, I am your host, Vanessa Jimenez, signing off. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and I have a few New Year's resolutions because last year was not it, I think, for a lot of people. But um, one thing I want to work on is positivity because, um, you know, with the whole COVID thing going on, I think it's easy to get um, to, like, this negative mindset. But um, definitely I want to work on positivity, um, spreading positivity, you know, just being positive. Um, 
I was about to make a joke. I'm so sorry. I can't do it. Um, another thing I want to do is work on myself because, see, I really like helping others, you know? If you need something, I'm there for you. But it's kind of hard to help others when I'm not helping myself. Another thing I would like to work on is being healthier because, again, the COVID thing and being quarantined, I get, see, I get bored and when I get bored, I'm like, what can I do? And I eat. <laughs> I eat because I'm bored like it's not like that I'm hungry I just <laughs> I don't know how to explain it please tell me someone else knows what I'm talking about but like I get bored and I'm like am I hungry I'll go get a snack you know <laughs> I don't know how to explain it so another thing I would like to work on is procrastination not procrastinating because I say this like every time this is like a big thing of, of mine because I suck at time management and like I don't know procrastination I mean I do the work you know I get it done but I think um I get I don't know I'm like it's not due yet so I put it off to the side you know do something else but I think I definitely need to work on procrastination <laughs> um I'm sure I have more things that I want to work on this year but I couldn't really think of anything else so um, thank you for listening. Bye. Hi guys, it's Vanessa and I'm here to share my New Year's resolutions. So I think I have like three of them. The first one has to be uh, to limit my screen time because I'm usually always on social media and if not, I'm probably like watching a show or a movie. And so I think being on the screen too much is really like not good because we're on screen for school and adding like more screen time that's just not a healthy way of living so I need to limit that my second year's resolution kind of ties in with the first one uh, I want to learn new hobbies and I'm always complaining that I don't have enough time but that's because I'm always on my phone so I want to start learning new hobbies or just like trying things like I want to start reading I want to reteach myself how to play violin because when I was younger I used to play but I haven't played in like three years. Uh, I also want to focus on a sport. I'm thinking tennis because I started tennis last year. It's my second year and I want to get better. There's just lots of things I could do besides being on my phone but um, and I also the third one has to be just to work on myself because I feel like I'm constantly bashing myself. I don't know whether it's procrastination or the way I talk, or like, always like, uh, judging myself. Um, so I want to focus on myself, be nicer to myself, and to people. So that's pretty much it. Work on myself. Hope you guys are staying safe, and remember to love yourself. Spread kindness. Treat people with kindness, love. Okay, bye. Good luck, Charlie.